Well, if you've never seen Treasure Hunt before, you don't know what you've been missing, because it gives you a chance to see some really beautiful and exciting scenery. And if you feel like it, you can try solving the five cryptic clues that our studio contestants have to cope with. This week, they're Jim Wilde and Mike Park from Scarborough. And they'll be trying to guide our skyrunner Annika around a treasure hunt course, and if they succeed, they'll win themselves a thousand pounds. Wincy will be keeping us in order, and she's the only one who knows the route in advance. That's right, Wincy, isn't it? That is, yes. I'll be plotting your course on my map and keeping an eye on the clock for you. So, lots of luck. Thank yeah. you. I know you've seen quite a number of treasure hunts before, so you know what's yeah. expected of you. Looking yeah. forward to having a go, Jim. I am, yeah. Can't wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it? Mine. It was mine. I volunteered the both of us, and we went through all the various stages, and we didn't think we'd get this far, so it was quite a shock. <laughs> what do you do, uh, Jim? Repair computers. We're computer technicians, and we work together, and Mike's actually my boss. Oh, is he? Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> so, so we'll do a good do job well. today. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are no computers to help you today, but plenty of books to look at. Mm. There's one disadvantage that we have uh, compared with the viewers in that they can see Annika while we can't, although we can't hear her and talk to her. So, Annie, can you hear me? I can indeed. Hello to you all. Now, I expect you're all itching to know where we are this week, so we're going to give you a sort of visual clue. One, two, three, we're in. Of One, course, two, three, we're in. No, of course, you <laughs> couldn't see does. that. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Kenneth. I just gave you a fantastic clue. Well, to give you another clue, Kenneth, um, just listen to this. Frankie, take the camera. Oh, sky. Well done, Graham. There we are. We're in sky. <laughs> One of the remotest parts of Britain, the most spectacular, certainly the Western Highlands of Scotland. We're perched on a rock high on the Isle of Skye, and over there is a wonderful view of locks and mountains. That's uh, just south of the Carle of Lacolche. So, do you know the area at all? Well, I don't. Do you? No, I've not been in the Isle of Skye. You're two northern lads. You're meant to know your way round. <laughs> That's far in part, Scotland. <laughs> Listen, op open up the map, and I'll, uh, I'll just show you the, the point on the map. Can you find the Carle of Lacolche? Can you see that? Yes. Southeast of that is a high point called Khan and Sea Crane. Can you see that? It's a, it's, it's a sort of mountain. Oh, yes, area. I got it. Khan, that's, to say that's Khan and Sea Crane. Let me just introduce like the crew to you before we get going. Two lads who've been looking for a Highland fling ever since we've been up here Graham Berry and Frank Maber there. Right. Well, how about telling us a bit more about the area? Yes, Perhaps you can get the pronunciation right. <laughs> oh, no, don't be onto me. Well, there we are. Annika's up there. Splendid countryside to be in. Looking out of the area known as Wester Ross. And it's nearly 200 miles north of Glasgow. It's, it's quite unbelievable, isn't it? And tucked behind the octopus-like shape of the Isle of Skye. On my more detailed map here, we can see how the long arms of the sea, these are the sea locks, they break up the coastline. And here, in the southeast, We've got the main road, and that enters the region from Fort William and Inverness via the mountains of Kintail. And here, at the end of the most scenic railway route probably in the world, is the busy little port of the Kyle of Localche. So there's our start point on the Isle of Skye, just south of the ferry. Lovely place to be. Your hint for the treasure today, gentlemen? A mm -hmm. present for a Highland stocking. A present for a Highland stocking. First clue, start the clock. <coughs> Thanks very much. Here's the first clue. North of the Gavin Maxwell shore, pitch at a palindrome. Check the Maclean colours and it's in the bag. Mm. Mm. North of the Gavin Maxwell shore, pitch at a palindrome. Check the Maclean colours and it's in the bag. Any ideas? Gavin Maxwell was the uh, chap who wrote about the seals. No. Right. The otters. 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 That's right, yes. So what, what do you want Annika to do? Should we get into the helicopter? Yes, get in the helicopter, please, Annika. Right. Come and say um, hello to uh, our captain. We'll books See yeah, what sky. books you can find about Gavin the Maxwell area. we need, really. Mm. Captain uh, Keith Foot Thompson, otherwise known as Big Mac. Hi, Keith. <laughs> you haven't got your kilt on. Why not? Too cold. Oh, yeah, too cold. It gets very drafty in a helicopter. Right. <laughs> These are the ones. West Highlands. Here, I've got <laughs> West Highlands of Scotland. So we just Scottish Highlands, West okay. Highlands of Scotland. Now, we're looking for, what are we looking for first? Gavin, Gavin Maxwell. Maxwell. Sure, okay. where, where about he live? <laughs> Take off then. Yes, take off, please, Annika. Have a quick once round, as they say. <laughs> Got anything about him? Really Have fun, Maxwell. Wilderness up here. There's, uh, we saw some deer earlier, actually, as we were flying here to the start position. Let's have a look round, see if we well, can that, see Well, those books out. don't seem to be very helpful. Let's see if we can find anything in these. You have a look in there, and I'll have a look in this one, Guide to Britain's Coast. The, the mainland.
and the, the, the inside of Sky is so mountainous, there's only a very few roads and mostly hill tracks, but it's, uh, it is fantastic. You really feel you're at the top of the world here. There's a lock below us, Lock Alsh. But the view is good today, is it? The view is wonderful. The, the, the light here is quite extraordinary. At 11 o'clock at night, it's still bright, you know. You can, <laughs> <laughs> Still, sort of. Uh, Are you trying tennis. to you you trying to kid us that there's that much change in the time? <laughs> Eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> no, really. No, it is a, a fantastic sky. The the uh, the scenery is amazing up here. It's a place I've always wanted to visit, but never got round to going. <laughs> well, we'll just have to go there sometime. Was that Jim or well, was Well, let's that, see uh, whether Michael? we can find any more about this Gavin Maxwell thing. <coughs> Seen any deer, Keith? No. Not a deer. It's annoying. I think we sort of frighten them off a bit. But anyway, we Maxwell, shall love them. Maxwell. As I said, the uh, Maxwell. It's a good name for it, Sky, because the, the sky Maxwell. here lives is intermittently in Sanday. Oh, hello. See if we can find Sandy. Sand place called Sanday. Sand on Sky or on the mainland now? Uh, it'll be on Sky. He lived on Sky. Sanday. Can we find well, Sanday? There's not a lot of Sky on this map. <laughs> there isn't. There. It's actually a, quite a large oh. island. I think it's about 50 miles long, but we've only got a little knob of it. Can you find Sandeg anywhere? Sandeg, uh, see if I can find Sandeg. You haven't got much of Sky on the map, so I suggest you try the mainland. Yeah. <laughs> Sandeg, 248. Oh, ye old helpy. Right, let's have a look. I think uh, she's actually breaking down at last. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a touch. Now, this is Graham's um, very unique Sandeg. shot here, which is. I always wonder how your hands don't oh, drop no. up. Don't they get That's a bit cold? Graham and I went scuba diving last night. Very late. The sound of sleep. The water's around here is so clear. That's incredible. Saw quite a lot. Only across the sound of sleet. Finally, the sound of sleet. Can you see the sound of sleet on your map? Finally. Well, I think that was the sound of sleet. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
all my Yorkshire accent, can't I? <laughs> well, you're getting close. You're a bit of a dialect expert, aren't you? Um, well, not an expert. There's nobody an expert. But, yes, I do oh. talk in the dialect, right. yes. Here, here is this, this, this bay, Glenelg Bay. Yes, you've got... And, and the... Shall we just land? Um, well... Oh, look at the clouds on the water there. It's like a mirror. Pitch at like a, a palindrome, it says. So, pitch, pitch. land at, the, at Glenelg, I would say. Can yep. you see the actual village of Glenelg? Yeah, we are over the village. Well, oh, hang on. Now, here's a sports pitch. Look, let's have oh, a sports pitch. Yes, I that's think, that's I think there's some Highland Games or something. McLean yeah, colours. The game, there's some Highland Games going Yeah, well, on, get so the McLean colours ah. out of the tartan book. Now, yes, <laughs> they, they're tossing the watch. You've right. had just over well, seven you, minutes. <laughs> Uh, Make sure you get do, the right Frankie, spelling. You're a little Highland expert. Okay. McLean. That's it. Now, now, yeah. now. can you? Oh, the, the, tossing the caber. That's it. I knew there's something. <laughs> now you're looking uh, for the, the, the McLean colours. The, the, the McLean colours. Can ah, you? Just... Is that the blue kilt or the red kilt? I it's... think I'd better examine both of them. And there's... <laughs> <laughs> Annie. Any yes. excuse? Annie, can you hear me? Yes, I can. The, the McLean colours are the sort of big squares, and there's a red one. And you've got sort of four brown ones coming off at, at right angles. Um, oh. And on the corners, you've got green. Hello! What? I'm just saying hello. There's a tug of war going on here. But it's the carton I'm after, is it? Yeah. Well, it says it's in the bag. It's in the bag. Now, is that the sporran? <laughs> it's in a sporran. Here's a sporran. Do we, do we want the McLean tartan? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then you want the sporran. Have you got a McLean tartan on? No. Who has? No. Who has? has he got the 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 Who's wearing the McLean tartan? It's big red squares, right. Annie. <laughs> I know, I'm after my big red squares. Quite a few of them. Oh, my goodness me. You can... Oh, excuse me. Big red squares, I suppose. <laughs> but are they all McLeans, all those people there? Ah. The pipes. Um, oh, God! <laughs> the pipe, the pipe, ma the pipe. Master, <laughs> Is it on the back of the back pipes? Um, it wouldn't be in the pipes, would it? Oh, here it is! Have you, you got, got it? it? Yes! Oh, all right, all right, right. Stop. 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 We're going to take a short break now. Welcome back to part two. That's yeah. one clue under your belt. How are they doing for time? You're about a minute behind schedule. You did waste a bit of time there. So yeah. let's push on. Start the clock. Right, I'll read out the clue. And thanks to the Sky and Lockhouse dance. It's absolutely fantastic. This is little Amy. Mackenzie's coat of mail was constable where three locks met. A fourth lock, the young chevaliers, is your key. Mackenzie's uh, coat of mail was constable Ian, where three locks meet. A fourth so lock, much. the young chevaliers, mm, is your good. key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mackenzie. There's that, a meeting of three locks. I'm quite yeah. overcome. Bye bye. Will you get in the uh, yes. helicopter, oh, please? Sorry. Bye Anna. bye, Amy. That's right, there is. You're right. Bye bye. Where's Amy's daddy? Mackenzie. Miss Daddy. Miss Daddy. Bye bye, Amy. <laughs> oh, God. Right, better get going. Bye. Mackenzie's. Is it. Annie? Annie? Yes, we're on our way. The only way, right. <clears throat> is it a long run? No, it's not at all. I was. Uh, I think Rare was a bit overcome by that Highland fling. He didn't know there was that kind of Highland fling. <laughs> <laughs> He's more interested in the other sort. No, there are heaps of. So we'll just take off. Hey, and, where, that, where do you want her to go? Ian right, take off. And would you, would you head north east, north east. Annie? Yeah. Um, the three locks meet, I think, is the junction of the three locks. Lock Duich, Lock Alsh, yeah. and Lock Long. Now, right. look, I've got it here. Bye-bye! Oh, that was oh, lovely. Well, <laughs> Listen to this, will you please, Annie? Yes, hello. The old Ross clan, known as the Wild Macrae's, had mig migrated to Glen Elk and Kintail in the mid-14th century, and now became such devoted allies of Clan Mackenzie that they were commonly called Mackenzie's Shirt of Mail. And from 1520 were hereditary constables of Eileen Donan, or how you say that? Eileen Donan! I've just seen that on the map! Do, do you want to know where, where Eileen Donan is? Where, where have you seen? Oh, yes, got yes, it. Right. There's a restored castle there. Shall we go there? 
Yes, please, Annie. Yes. Uh, Eileen Donnan. A yes. fourth lock. Right. Now, this is a different spelling. A different of type the lock. of lock. We're on our way. The young chevaliers. No Maurice? Well, what a shame we never saw any deer on the Isle of Skye there, because apparently they, they roam quite freely. It's probably freely in the castle Wilbur, 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 Yes, I would think so. It's the castle at Fallon Dunn. Dunn. Mm. Um, so the, we think the castle there is probably of interest, Annie. I wonder if there's something... Wait a minute, I'll okay. see if I can find it about here. Mm. Although, uh, the fourth lock is your key. Here you are, look. The, the young lock. chevaliers. Don't oh, know. we have a book on the castle here. OK, you oh, it's get beautiful. reading. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's so wild. Oh. It's a haven for wildlife up here. What are Red we looking deer, for here now? A lock. Young the young chevalier. chevalier. Okay. Mm. Let us know if you spot any um, wildlife, Keith. You know, do your David Attenborough bit. Let us know, because... Ah. Well, we should be there, what, in about Robert the Bruce was given refuge in this castle ah, by right. John McKenzie. Who, who's the, who's the young chevalier? Robert the And that, see, at the moment. See, Jim and Michael, they do make you work for it, don't they? <laughs> they do, they do, do yeah. No <laughs> hanging around on this programme. <laughs> the young... We're still... Oh! Oh, no. no I thought I had something there, no, but... Uh, we're still looking for the young chevalier, or some reference to the young chevalier. It's uh, great. Here we come to the lock. It's wonderful for salmon fishing round here and trout, all these locks and rivers. And but you need a castle, Annie. Oh, uh, no, it'll be about a minute. We're just uh, flying oh, the up the lock mm. now, or over the hills, rather. Yeah, that um, gives us time to look at. Couldn't it even up. see some seals along the shores, Pond apparently around Shaw. here. Pond Pond Shaw. Shaw. Well, could it be? Could it be? Yeah, sure. hmm. Right. Well, we'll be there in about a minute. We're going up this sort of great wild outback. Of How Britain about here. Bonnie Prince Charlie? Can you the find Bonnie Prince Charlie? Is magnificent. Something so about I think him. coming over this uh, brow yeah, of the we hill, need a, um, we should see a lock. Oh. Castle. Now, can we see a castle, anyone? Uh, yes, there's a castle there. It's a restored yeah, yeah. castle. That's right. Island Donald Castle. It's beautiful. Um... What does it look like? You tell us. <laughs> yes, come it's on. on to you tell us. It's on a small island with a, a stone bridge connecting it to the actual. Oh, so it's on, a, on the itself. island there. It's a very, very tiny island with just a castle on it. Oh, right. I can't see it at all. Can, can, can you yeah. sort of um, um, go around that corner a little bit more quickly? <laughs> no, no, he can't. No, there's no. Did, did you have your porridge this morning? Your go faster oats. Have you decided what she's got to find? Look, look for where she gets um, there. This the castle on Eileen Donnelly. Uh, yeah, As I know, but what's she got to get there when she's at the castle? The, the, the Chevalier bit has got me. The castle walls are extremely thick, so if you can make sure that you tell Annika what she needs to do before she gets uh, indoors, right, here's yeah. the she castle. may not be able to hear you. Um, You've got the castle. Do you know yeah. where you're going to be able to land, Annie? Because it looks a very small yes, island. Yes, Keith, where are we going to land? On the, in the castle, perhaps? No? I don't know yet. Where about? I don't know yet. We don't know yet. Keith just hasn't quite made up his mind at this long distance. <laughs> He's going to get there and have a quick recce. Um, but there it is there, very lonely spot. Oh dear. The ruins of the castle. Actually, no, as you say, it's uh, restored. Uh, yes, it has been restored, yeah, yes. It's magnificent, actually. Um, Nestling at oh, the boss base of those hills. Sorry, I still can't get the a fourth lock. The young chevaliers is your See the key. castle. Uh, whereabouts are you landing, Annie? Uh, we're going to land. Keith just hasn't quite um, worked that out, having oh. <laughs> not exactly. Uh, ah. We're just. Right, hang on. Uh, yes, there's the little uh, the bridge over the, the lock there. Oh, Keith, oh look, a relics of Bonnie there. Prince Charlie, Charlie can also be seen. Be a, a lock of his hair. hair. <laughs> a lock of Bonnie Prince Charlie's hair in the banqueting right, the hall. Banqueting the banqueting hall, hall is where you want. Have we got a plan of this? For 30 you're, minutes you're to go. You all sound demented. What is well, we feel a bit demented this morning. <laughs> I've never um, heard so much excitement about no. some hair. Now, we, we don't have a plan of the castle in this booklet, right. but the banqueting hall... Isn't there a plan here anywhere? No, no nothing at all. No, no. Annika, hello. What's did it? you get that exactly what you got a, a, to do? A lock of hair a lock somewhere. Of hair in the banqueting hall. Now, there's, we've got no plan of the castle right. here, so you'll have to ask where the banqueting hall is when you get there. Right, we're on our way to the old banqueting hall. Oh, it's a nice picture. Isn't it? Are you are actually have you landed in the castle, Annie? No, we haven't. Hello. Ah, oh, so you'll have to cross the stone bridge. That's right. A nice morning for a wee jog, I think, Liam, don't you think? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Now, it doesn't say where exactly in the in the banqueting hall this lock of hair is. 
No, Luke wouldn't, would it? But you have to, you're ascending, ascending to the bank. Ascending so to the bank. Upstairs. Upstairs, yeah. This is the real McCoy, is it? The real lock of hair. Well, so it says. That's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say, Kenneth. That's what it says in the book. It must be right. It the must be right. The treasure hunt says so. <laughs> <laughs> we were just running right here. <laughs> Lovely stone bridge up to the main uh, castle on the island. It's a bit doesn't have an arrow on it. Kenneth pointing to, <laughs> to where it is. Here I can see yeah, how clear that, all uh, the waters uh, are. See right to the bottom down there. There's a case. It says there's a case somewhere. Can you see a case? Mm, there's one there. A cape. No, case. C-A-S-E. <laughs> Chevalier, it? it's, it's, um, it can mean a mounted sword dry knight, Hello. military right. cadet. Right. Now, here well, that's we are. the one in which Charlie was, yes. I think. Yeah. Hi. The... All right. Had a lovely welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Banqueting hall. Are you inside? She's inside. I, I she think can't this is the point where she's gone inside, and as we said, the walls are apparently about 14 feet thick, so it's a little bit difficult for us to communicate. It's like a case. You'll hear her scream when she's <laughs> We're on our way up now to the ah. banqueting hall. Right, yeah. Oh, so you find somebody who can show you the way, have you? Good. It's a little difficult to see from this picture where the case is. Is this the banqueting hall? Well, well, maybe not this the is, is the where, Where's the banqueting hall? The hall's upstairs, and this is the ability. Really, it's Sir Barney Prince Charlie. Oh, is there anybody right. there with you? But they said the banqueting hall in a case. A lock of hair. There's a picture of him. We'll try again. <laughs> right. Well, is there a case where there's a lock of um, Prince Charles's hair? Somewhere. Um, uh, are you with us again? Oh, hang on, what's in here? Um, McRae Tartan. Oh, dear. Could be anywhere. Could be absolutely anywhere. Do you know where Prince Charles's lock of hair is? Yes. It's very faint, I can hear, but I can't yeah. hear what you're saying. <laughs> you have to find out. Oh, no, whereabouts? Because it could be anywhere. There's a case behind oh, Gosh, it could be any of these cases. Um, I don't think it's that. <sighs> There's a whole load of guns. Um, I just nobody, don't know where this hair could be. You've got oh, it. Oh, hang on, is that it? You've got Can it. Can I open it up? You've got hang it. Hang on. Is that a lock of hair? E yes. Where is where, oh, here's the clue. Oh, no, you've got it. All right. Good. Run, run, run outside to read it. Read it then. Are you reading it to us? On well, I'll read it. On the way to the sororial quintet. Take the high road and alight on a mixed-up bob Hello cage again. for a face-saving exercise. Here's, yes. Here's the clue. Next yeah. one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> just, we're just keep ready. Keep going, okay. Annie. We'll just keep going. How did we get yeah. that? Yes. On the way to the sororial quintet, take the high road and alight on a mixed-up bob cage for a face-saving exercise. Bye -bye. Right, so back to the helicopter then, Annie, please. Right. Hello, Annie? Mm, no, is there anything mm, lost again. Back to the helicopter, there's ah. Keith lurking up there. There she is. Okay, is there anything back. called the Five Sisters, Sororial Quintet? Well, five Sisters, yes. Do you think? Take the now? higher road. Oh dear, why couldn't you have done that to like start with? Sounds like a mountain with? road and a light on a mixed up Bob Cage. Is that an anagram of Bob Cage? Might be. What's the Rally on me? That's a convenient part and everything. Sisters. Why didn't Keith sisters. land over there the first time? Right, has it moved? <laughs> Five sisters. Is that the name of a hill or a mountain? It sounds like. Well, I think we should have a look at the have a look at the five sisters of Kintail. There is a hill called the Five Sisters of Kintail. It must be here somewhere. Uh, five sisters. Here it is. Got it. Annie. Yeah. Right. Back in the helicopter. On the way to there. What? Now, do you see no. it's southeast of you? Southeast. Start heading. Well, down the lock, really. Down lock, Jewish. How am I pronouncing these things? Right, Keith. Now, Take why the high road. Yeah, well, the, the, the right. You had a little sneaky uh, practice while we were doing that, Luke. She's on the way. She always to thinks the safe thing. You get those directions, Annika. Yes, southeast down the lock. Yes, Mix, mixed up Bob Cage. Down. Is that an anagram? So, anagram southeast yes. down E Old Lock. Bob. Um. Yeah. Bob Cage, yes. Ah, that's now, it. Well Annie, done. It's not very yeah, far. Not very far. Um, hang on a second. It's not very far, right? Not no, very far. It's no. southeast of you. There's a place called. It looks like Bock Bay. Bock Bay. B O C B E A G. Just to the southeast of you. In your right. the, way, the way you explained to us, it's three squ three squares to the right of where you are. 
Um, looking at that clue, Annie, it looks Not like you might me. have... Annie? Yes? It's Mike. Uh, looking at that clue, you might have to do a bit of um, rock climbing so by the looks of it. Rock B, yes, excuse. Um, First well, anyway, yeah. well, head, Keith's so just sort of climbing. turned his nose up at Bot B. <laughs> but anyway, we shall go and have a, have a look. That is the anagram. What is yeah, Bot B, we, anyway? I've, I've got the clue here now. I, we had a bit of trouble hearing you in that castle. As oh. Quincy said, the walls are very thick. <laughs> Yeah, no comment. <laughs> right, so you, you know what just we want you to do, don't Bo you now? Bot B, mix, Bo um, right, and a uh, face-saving exercise. What can that be? Well, I, I think it's a bit of rock climbing. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, 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 we'll identify the, the rock first. You're getting very good at that rock climbing, <laughs> so let's... Yes, when in doubt, climb a mountain. When in doubt, jump into the sea. <laughs> Yes, it looks fairly yes. hilly, down the knock here. It's a, the sun has come out through the clouds. I was talking about this, this vivid colour. It is quite extraordinary. Every few seconds, the picture changes with the, with the clouds and the, the sun. You get some good trips out, Annie. I he? know. Is that, is that Mike? Or is <laughs> no, it's, it's Jim. He's the Yorkshireman, I'm <laughs> Oh, sorry. Let's start at the beginning. Jim, say hello. <laughs> hello, Annie. And now, and now Mike. Uh, hello. Sounded remarkably similar to me. Oh, <laughs> that's an insult, isn't it? <laughs> is that an insult? Now, this is a bot beak here. Yeah. Ish. What does right, it look right like? Right up there. Well, it Her... looks like a bot beak mountain, really. It's, <laughs> it's a large um. What's she going to have to do there? Part face 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 face. That sounds like... This is a light on. Can we go up, Keith? I don't know what we're looking for. Some kind well, of... A, a, is there anybody rock climbing there? Yeah, I'm there? just trying to look. I can't see. Um, they're probably wearing green. <laughs> it says a light on. A light on it, it says, light yes. on a mixed up bob cage. We are honest. climbing, apparently. It felt well, like it was very It might be. I'll have a look. It might be. There's stuff in here. We're on our way up. Um, it's oh. very small, so there's not really much there. Graham's zooming in on your petrol gauge. Is there a problem? You're not running out of fuel, are you? Uh, oh, climb! A climbing gauge. Oh, there's oh, a fuel right. gauge. Just to show that we are on our way up. Oh, what? You got something? Oh, see, caught you out, Graham. You were looking at the old, <laughs> look at the old gauge there. You should have been looking for climbers, you see? There's a pinprick of a man. That, that, that's, that is the, the actual peak of Bop B, B. And there is, there is someone up there. <laughs> um, What's he doing? Can we get as close as possible? He's taking off his trousers. <laughs> there he is. What? He's taking, He's off, his taking off his trousers. He's taking what? off his trousers or doing something. Is there a clue in them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay, the clue. No, um, no, perhaps he wasn't. Face he saving wasn't. exercise. He's just adjusting his... his belt, but from a distance. Do you want to do now, that? Oh, my goodness me, there's, there's all sorts of... Oh, look, there's someone down there who's a bit stuck. <laughs> Is there something in the clue about someone halfway up, do you think? Well, it's yeah, a face saving, saving exercise. Hello, uh, have you got a clue? It's the, um... It'll be the mountain rescue people. Oh, yes, people. there it is! He's probably you waiting for you, you can see it. it. Oh, crumbs. Someone's got the clue and he's just lurking halfway up the mountain. Have you got um, any rope, Andy? Have I any rope? Oh, dear, how...? Just about your purse. How do I get up there? Can you land on top, Keith? Oh, these people... Can they let looking... you out or pull him in or anything? Yes, I... <laughs> it's looking ominous. There's all sorts of people with crash helmets on and harnesses and uh, this sort of... I feel quite ill suddenly, this sort of... <laughs> Sort of sheer rock face. This guy with a glue halfway up. Oh well. Um, can you look after that? Matt. Has she ever done upsailing before? Um, yes. We'll, we'll yes. We'll investigate. I think yes. Yes, you must. We're we going down. Where are you landing, Annie? No, we're just we're landing right at the top of Bob Beagle Beagle. Twenty minutes to go. Right. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've gotten charming, isn't it? Hi, how can I get down that mountain? Face right? saving. How can I get Annie? down? Annie? Some Annie? guys down below might be able to help. Right, show me. Can you show me where? Face saving. So maybe she has a mountain rescue. Yeah. Right, yes. It's the mountain rescue, is it? Yes, yeah, yeah. right. Are you part of the mountain rescue team? Yeah. Oh, right, yes, he is. It's the man that's stuck You've got to go, you've got to go and save the man who's got the clue. I don't, I don't like it. We're just frolicking down this sort of steep pitch here as if we're Julie Andrews. <laughs> At this point, they're going to put her onto a stretcher. They told me to lie down a on stretcher? stretcher. Yeah. 
It's OK, Lee. Oh, God. You sure you not know what you're doing? Your life in their hands. <laughs> oh, I see your life in their hands. Yes, it is a kind of stretcher contraption. You know how they, they rescue yeah. people yeah. on the stretcher when they've been injured? Well, they're going to lower her down the rock yeah. face to meet the man who's halfway up the cliff. Oh, dear. Well, and my friends used to be mighty rescue to me. used to practice with sheep, because if they could rescue a sheep, they could rescue anyone. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they struggle. Yeah. They do incredible work. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, could you tell me what you're going to do? Yeah, we're going to go down the cliff. Right. Um, you are now safe with the right. right. You're not going anywhere. Are you going down now, aren't they? Yes. Just think of the view you'll get. A, <laughs> must be joking. I feel like a, a chicken in a, in a pen at the moment. Now I know what they feel like on the Sainsbury's car. You're well, you're well oh, strapped in, are you? Yes, I'm, I'm on a sort of stretcher contraption. At least you don't uh, have to abseil. That's true, actually. I just lie back and enjoy this thing. No, no, no. Have you got your arms free to get the clue, aren't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is extraordinary. I can't quite describe what I feel like. It's uh, pretty stupid. <laughs> um, I don't quite know what's going to happen. I think they're just going to let me right off the edge. And I go, oh my goodness me. Oh, no. I think, it's a bit of a gap to see this, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I, I just close my eyes and enjoy it. Oh, well, I'm upside down. Completely and utterly upside down. <laughs> Don't close your eyes, honey. Yeah, You've got to find the clue. I'm sort of steel rack, you know, and I'm just there. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of. I'll now I know why I've got down. the steel cage around my head. I'm just. Uh, I don't think I'm just not going to open my eyes anymore. If you don't mind. So, oh gosh, I'm sort of being dragged down the uh, face. Right, and I'm off. It's so much easier to solve the clues when you can okay. see all this at home, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were waving at me. Don't wave back. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm on the way. This is incredible, actually. These guys know what they're doing. They are uh, lowering me down on two ropes in a sort of basket. Um, and it's sort of um, rushing against the mountainside, but they're totally in control. I mean, what a way to get a clue. <laughs> Why couldn't they've had it at the bottom? And, oh dear. It's a different matter if you've got a broken leg. Yes, I mean, yeah. right, if I was injured, this would be a very comfortable way of getting down that mountain, I can tell you. Are you near the man with a clue on there? As I'm not injured, I feel a bit How stupid. far have you got to go? Trust up like a turkey. Here uh, he is. Here's the man with the clue. Get the um, clue. Excuse me, can I have... <laughs> We're coming down now. We've got the clue. We've got the clue. All right. Stop the clock. clock. We're going to take Stop another clock. short break now. Welcome back to part three. That's three clues now solved. Have they made up any of that time? No, you're still about the same, about a minute behind yeah. you. OK, hmm. let's start the clock, clue four. Right, well, my thanks to the Kintail Mountain Rescue Team. They did a fantastic job there, lads. I mean, they were, you know, I wasn't hurt, but I'm sure I'd be in very safe hands if I was. Now, John is going to read the clues. Towards the Northern Welcome Crossing, stand at a bay by Inverhue's counterpart and embark on a venture to find a cocktail element. Okay. Towards the northern Welkin crossing, stand at bay Thanks by so Inverhue's counterpart much, and embark on a venture to find Bye. a cocktail Bye. element. Right, well, I felt like one of those trolleys in Sainsbury's stuck in one of those. <laughs> Any idea? <laughs> are, are, are you now near the... Uh, how yeah. are you going to be picked up, Annie? No, we've done all that in the commercial break. We're down here again oh. now. Yeah. I, actually, it was very easy. They just sort of dropped me and I went crashing <laughs> to the bottom and here I am. Um, Inverhue. Inverhue Gardens. It's, it's Inverhue's it's counterpart, it's mind you. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, one, one, six. I mean, I'm sure you, you can look it up, again. but even so. One, one, six. So, uh, as I say, thanks to the Kintail Mountain Rescue Team, they <laughs> do a great job. Uh, I felt very safe in their hands, a bit, a bit surprised oh, by You're going to do the same <laughs> thing. Yeah, very safe. Right, yeah. Well, that's the idea of them, Annie. If you didn't feel safe with them, you'd feel safe with anybody. No, they were terrific. You've got a 15 team. minutes to go. The A team. The professionals. <laughs> you bravely go well, where King, no man's the been sky before. heavens are up and out. Old English words. There they are. Related to Old Frisk and Wolken. Old Saxon, Old this High is, German. This is wonderful up here. Graham, look at that lot. Just sort room. of is that, is that the, the, the blue what? skies there. Some of the most spectacular scenery in the Highlands here. The sky heavens are up and air. 
there's Mike up there lurking in the clouds. Uh, yes, hello. Something to do with the sky or heavens, Welkin. Welkin no, crossing. crossing. Sky. Crossing, the crossing to sky. Could it be? Yeah. Annie? Brilliant. Annie? Annie? Hello, yes. The northern Welkin crossing. Welkin is to do with the sky or heaven, so we think it's a crossing to sky. Oh, back at the Kyle of Lockout. Yes. Northern crossing, The, yeah. the northern oh. crossing. The, if you look on your map... Um, Hi. Yes. Look up. Yes, it's me. <laughs> Look up Loch Alsh, the, the Loch Alsh. Yes. You'll see a, a ferry there crossing. Kyle Aiken, Arkin. Kyle Aiken. Kyle Aiken. Um. And, well, well, it's. Oh, Kyle Aiken. The, it's from Kyle the Kyle Aiken. of Loch Alsh. In yes, fact. Kyle of Loch Alsh. Yes. Oh, where's Mike gone? Oh, I was just about to say hi, Mike. How are you? And he's gone. <laughs> You oh, were just well. talking to him, Annie. No, no, we have two mics. Two mics, oh, yeah. Two mics, sorry, Mike. We have you, Mike, and we have Tom's mic. So it's towards that, so we don't want... We may not actually want to go that far, Annie. Mike, are you tall, dark, handsome as well, or...? Me? No, I'm, I'm tall and blonde. Blonde? Yes. Oh, we well, know what they say about blondes. <laughs> what, what do they, they say, say about blondes, blondes Annie? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, actually, to that. I think we ought to get on with the Kyle of Lockhart <laughs> really quickly. Uh, uh, um, we're, we're at a bay by Embarrouge Carter Park, so it's oh. probably on the way to the crossing. Um, oh. so towards to the go. crossing. Yeah. Well, there's nothing on... Well, have you seen anything there? Yeah, no. Gardens. There are some gardens there. Well, Umbaru has gardens and Balmacara Bay has gardens. Ah, well, let's see if we can so find something about that then. Can we go to the block of Kyle? I just really would like to. Uh, no, you, no you're, you're somewhere think, on the way there. We think you're, we're, we're aiming at the moment at Balmacara Bay. Oh, so it's a bit further north, yes. is it? Uh, it says uh, Imbaru's counterpart. Now, Imbaru is famous for gardens and there are some gardens right. in Balmacara Good. Bay. What's this bay called? Uh, Balmacara. B A L M A C A R A. Oh, Balmacara Bay, Bay there. Sorry, yes. Keith. There's some not gardens Balmacara. just on the oh, shoreline. Yes. There. Okay. So well, look at Balmacara. Near Donald Murchison's monument. Yes, that's right. Yes. Okay. 78. I think this is the bay here, is it, Keith? Or just over? Oh, over the. Away and above and all that sort of stuff. Ah, you chatted. Adventure well, time. We'll be there very shortly. Where's the helicopter? We'll be very shortly. Are you nearly there? Yes, right. Yes, we but... are. We're just. Uh, all these little lonely roads, yes. um, it's a very remote life Bark they an lead, adventure. I should think... Just under right. 12 minutes to go. Bark. OK, right. Well, just when we get to the other side, we'll, uh, we'll be able to see this bay. I think you're doing right. very well, Mike and Jim. Thank you. Without a computer in sight. <laughs> <laughs> They've got Kenneth. Oh, yes, that's true. Absolutely, mm. well... Oh, are all singing, all dancing. I'm wrong, I've, I've, been, I've been wrongly programmed. This is Curtain, the town of Curtain here. Um, so, Jim. Hello. Is it is it more difficult being a contestant than watching other people doing it on the telly? Yeah. Oh, it's very, right. <laughs> it's very <laughs> easy at home. Because <laughs> everyone always writes and says, can we be a contestant? It looks so easy, you know, great fun. And it's not quite as straightforward, is it? It's, just, it's not. Not no. really, no. <laughs> as we discovered, didn't we, Annika, once? Oh, yes, all right, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Yes. Are you landing uh, yet, Annie? Sorry, no, we, we can see the bay ahead of us now. It's just around this bed. On these gardens as well. So we think it's a cocktail element. Maybe it's a plant called Pina Colada or something. Uh, yes, Balmacara Bay. Should be a Scotch cocktail. Well, a a wee drab. Um, and a heavy. I beg your pardon. Oh. We drum in a heavy or something. Oh, 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 sorry. Embark on a venture <laughs> about what do you want, Bell Macara. Bell Macara Bay. Just think that we were down there last night. Is there anything in there about? Has he got anything? Is he looking over there? This is the bay. Mm. Um, Bell Macara. Now this, yeah, Bell we are at, actually at that bay, but. Uh, there are, some, there are some gardens on the uh, shore there, Annie. Are there? I'll take your word for it. I can't <laughs> see them. Well, it's marked on the map Can above we land? Yep. a tiny place called Glake. Glake? Oh, I see Glake. Yes, it's at that corner of the bay, but I think we'll just have to land here, and it's obviously a bit further down. We're la landing on this stony beach here. Just under 10 minutes to go. Now, Glake. Right. Well, I think it's. Uh, a bit further up the coast, Glake, isn't it, Keith? We'll get out and have a wee look. Um, OK, thank you. There are some gardens there. She's I mean. got to embark, though, hasn't she? Mm. Embark? 
embark? Embark on a venture. Embark? Well, there's a boat. Yes. To find a cocktail element. Or would it be this boat? There's a... It could be, yeah. But you've got to find a cocktail element. That could be the name of a... Another a, boat? A sh another boat. Name of the boat? Hello! Kenneth Listen, knows a lot about we, cocktails. We need oh, yeah. to yeah, cocktails, so Kenneth. Yeah. <laughs> we know quite a bit about We want to get to Blake. Blake. We don't do cocktails at the Right. Morning. What you've missed. Well, do you think we've got to get in this boat? Could, could you well, take us there? It does say embark on a venture. Take it, take it where? Glate, the garden's at Glate. Find a cocktail element. Yes, well. Can you take us in the boat? Yes, this is uh, I, I don't... a bit of hard on this. I, he said can you, he, he can you see anything to sail to, Annie? Um, hang on. I'm stuck. I am absolutely totally stuck now. There's a boat here. The, the gardens are up there, but is it in the garden? A cocktail element. Look, look there's a thing. Oh, has this got anything to do with this? Hang on a second. Sorry about this. Modern houses sort of become a residential school of domestic science, giving a one year's course. The haven of Plockton's long attracted yachts from landscape painters. Do you think anything to do with it? Painters? Domestic science course? Well, in or out? Yeah. In, out, in, out. Is that in the, the inside? Do the hockey coat. Do a Highland fling for us, Frank, while we're waiting. All this sort of stuff. Um, oh, ah, uh, wait a minute now. Is she going to? Is she going to catch prawns or something like that? Oh, catch a prawn! Catch a prawn. Prawn, prawn fishing. Cocktail. cocktail. Have a prawn oh, yeah. cocktail. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> a prawn cocktail. Can you take us out to catch some prawns? I don't want to get the feet wet. Or lobster prawn cocktail or lobster cocktail, something like that. Sorry. Have you seen a prawn before? No. Well, yes. Yes, I've eaten one or two. I have to say. Should we just get in then? I mean, are, are, there, are there some, uh, you know, uh, baskets out or anything like that? Oops, excuse me. Oh, Hang on. They're called, We're um, just, are you coming, Graham? Seven and a half minutes pots. to go. Mm. Oh, sorry about the Are feet, there any Graham. pots out there anywhere? Yes, we're going to have a look. How I think, I think we, this is a bit of a... Well, it might be a lobster. He's got his net. Where do you want me to go? Um, I'm going uh, in the back. You're going in the back. OK. We're all Getting us three in a boat is not as simple as you might think. It's where to put Frankie that's always the problem. Right. Oh, they're sitting up together. Oh, that's really sweet. I was at the photo, the two of you nestling up there at the front of the... What's your name? Rudy. 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 Sorry, Rudy. We want to go and catch some prawns. There's oh, some well, prawns. Well, well, a few on board. Oh, can I see them? Yes. I mean... What? No, I've just asked you if I could see his prawns. He's got some in the boat. Has Why he? Why have you got them in the boat? Have you been fishing today? Sure. Oh. Embark on a venture. Well, well, if he's got some in the boat, then maybe there's one there. You're saying yes, it doesn't show me them. <laughs> oh. Oh, has the he got it? Has she gone? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I see that. It's your prawn <laughs> catcher, is it? Yes. I thought you had them sort of lurking behind you there. Buster. No. Right. Six and a half minutes Well, Rudy left. is going to take us to the fishing vessel over here, uh -huh. yeah. where the serious prawn catching takes place. Mm. Right. Okay. Serious prawn catching. As opposed to the frivolous stuff <laughs> <laughs> that you do in a restaurant when you say, can I have that one and that one and that one? Can okay. you tell him to go quickly, Annie? Yes, um, sorry. There's this rather irate northerner in the studio saying, can you go a bit quicker? Quicker. She keeps having After to move the programme, Rudy, I'll give you some help with things, your rowing. So I think Ru Rudy needs a bit of help from my rowing technique. Oh, it's, it's a rowing oh, boat. It's a it? rowing yeah. boat. Oh, We're in a rowing yeah. boat. Rudy's taking us over to the fishing vessel here. Um, where some prawns, I presume. I don't know what, what on earth's going on. <laughs> well, you're looking for a cocktail element, so we can only suppose it M must, must be, prawn. be a prawn. prawn. Nothing to do with the gardens. Where Might did the gardens lobster. come no, into it? Well, it's all part of the clue, you see. Oh, well, I it's see, It's very Kenneth. complicated. Oh, dear, I Kenneth. simply couldn't go through it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kenneth, oh, it's oh, just so oh, touching, oh. Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You really bear the, the weight of the, the world's problems know, on your I shoulders, know, don't you? That's right. <laughs> So, can we come abroad? Abroad, abroad, as they say. We're going to have Oops, to get a hang change on. in here, I think, for you, Kenneth, and you can go and have a quick line. I think I'm going to use that it. chair. It yeah. sits yeah. there at the back of the I set. Know, Nobody ever sits in it. it yeah. Right, is this your son, Rudy? Is it in a yeah. lobster pot or something like that? Yeah. yeah. He's earning his pocket money. Oh, he's earning some pocket? Yes. Oh, oh, don't leave me up here, Rudy, like this. Right. Five minutes now, to go. let's just get the boys on board, which, again, is not the easiest thing. Oh, I'll have a bit of real serious camera work now. It's Graham Berry coming over the top there. Oops, ah, I've got the cord in your... It? Oops. Now, don't look through every single prawn. Just <laughs> ask where it is, this clue. Yeah. Ian, Ian's earning some pocket money. Where would the prawns be? All the ones you've caught. Go on, you can tell me. I'm a doctor. No. Um, <laughs> where'd you keep the prawns? 
In a, the, in a crate. Just asking where the clue is. Don't yeah. The well, no, I think they, they must be with the prawns. They won't tell me where the clue is. It's never that straightforward. Oh, hang on, here we are! You got you it, got it. Here they are, hang on. Oh, you got the prawn, it. No, you've got the prawns. Um, how do I take them out? The clue reads Shoot. off the rails. Oh, it's, keep going. A semblance of Scottish liquor is left, but a little port looks right. A green gate leads to a palmy point. How do I get it out? Ian? Off the rails, a semblance of Scottish liqueur is left, but a it's little port on. looks right. Can you a get the clue out? green gate leads to a palmy How point. How do you get the clue out? We'll have to rush now, Annie. We've only a few minutes yes, left. Yes, time's running out. Can I take this with me, then? Because we can't... Uh... Are you taking the prawns as well? Can I take this with me? Because we need the clue. And... You've got Scottish liqueur is left, and a port looks Scottish liqueur. <laughs> right. Oh, I see. It's quite simple, really. Right. Well... Scottish liqueur is grand beauty, isn't it? Yes. A little right. semblance of Bye -bye, Scottish liqueur is left. Right. There's drum beauty. Drum beauty. Thanks, Rudy. Ah, that looks like it. Don't you think that's it? Yes, I would say yeah. so. Yeah. A semblance. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. A little port. Annika, right. are you, can you hear us? Yeah. We oh, want you. Oh, 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 help. Are you in the helicopter? Uh, oh, no, not no, just. No, she's still on the boat. Still on this boat. <laughs> Come on, Annie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, God. Complicated, right. We're just trying to get off the boat again. Little port looks right. Port, port can. Yeah. You're right, Frank. How did you do that green. so gracefully? The green oh, gate leads to a palmy point. Palmy. Just under three so minutes to go. Oh, gate. gosh. Um, oh, dear, this is so complicated. Why? Why? Why else? What have we... <laughs> You're right, Frank. Well, well. Right. Well, well. Oh, exhausted after that. Right, if we put them um, back to the, uh, the bay there. Thank you, Ian. Right, away. Bye, Ian. Did you have a job getting on and off the boat then, Annie? Lovely. Sorry? She's, gone a bit She's she just can't. taking the headset off to get, get out of the boat and back to the helicopter. 20p? Wanted more than that. Oh, they strike a hard bargain, these what stuff, do don't they? Yeah, it's a point calm, I think, isn't it? It says the bear. Yeah, uh, bear looking right. Where, where, where are we heading now? To, to right. Palms, yes. Uh, Northwest, north you'll north see a, a little place called Drumbuey. Drumbuey? The hmm. railway line runs Two uh, minutes north to go. Drumbuey? As in the liqueur? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Drumbuey, yes. Drumbuey, yes. Sorry. OK, where the railway line is. Yes, that's right. OK. Hurry up. Sorry. You'll have to fly quickly, Annie. Yes, I know. We're, we're rowing quickly at the moment. Right. There's a lot of money on, on this last clue. Oh, sorry. Um, yes, I forgot, lad. Sorry. Oh, dear. Well, we're on our way back. Just, uh, Keith is, uh, sitting with his maps over there. OK, still with us, Keith? Yep, he's there. He's so, Rudy, how often do you go out? Looking to the right. Every day. And how many Facing do you get a day? The, looking to the east, to the right. This is during the show. 20-30 stone. 20-30 stone today. Prawns. Let's put mayonnaise. I've got Couldn't hear what you said then. Several people seem to be talking at once. No, wait, we're just coming into land, um, I'm afraid, at the shore rather than from One Dewey. minute to go. Oh, no. Thank you very much. We better just bail out here, I think. Thanks very much indeed. Oh, sorry. You're really going to need to fly now, Annie. Yes, we don't know where he's going to go when she gets there. Well, the, the, the clue says a little port looks right. Oh, so there's a little port the called east, Port Cam. To the east. To yes. the east, to the right. Do you think? That's really. And a green right. gate leads to a palmy point. Are there any palms there? Yes, I'm sure she's, there she's are. She's only in the helicopter. 30 seconds thunder, to yeah. go. 30 seconds to go, and you've got to get to Grand She's only just taken off. Oh, oh, that's right, she's gone down fridge, she's not going to make it. I think we've had it, Annie. 20 seconds. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh. 15. What a shame, we've just taken off. Goodbye Ten. to Rudy there. You'll have to jump out the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid, <laughs> well, no, we're way off Oh, here. dear. Dead. What could have... Uh... Oh. Right. Sorry about that, yes. Yeah. Vincent, tell us where we should be. Well, you were right, Drumbuey, and mm. it is left at the port of Plockton, which faces east or right. You were saying that. And there was uh, a ski and do, which is um, a Scottish dagger, and that was uh, in a palm tree in the garden. Uh, a present for a Highland stocking, because yeah. they wear them tucked into their stockings. Bad luck. Oh, 
bad luck. Never bad mind. Luck. Thanks a lot, Annie. My kiss has been made out to you. Well, I suppose fine, that's because you're the boss. You have to yes. have it. Right? <laughs> yes. well, I don't really it. Make sure that your union, if you have one, <laughs> makes gets you half. <laughs> Thank you very much. Will do. Yeah. Thank you. We enjoyed ourselves. Thank you. Yeah. Annie. Thank you. Annie okay. th thanks very much. And uh, that's it from Treasure Hunt for this week. Do try and join us again next week at the same time. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Who knows where? Bye.